All right, three, <laughs> two, one. Welcome. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Safe State. We're a channel about everything you love in nerd culture, and today we're talking about League of Legends. Kind of. Kind of? Kind of. Kind of. Some stuff going around. Some stuff Le going around. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold uh, on. <laughs> Southeast Asia organizer of a League of Legends tournament uh, put out a controversial ruling that says that for a female-only tournament. tournament, that only one transgender... One or or gay, gay no. person may be allowed on the female only team. Right. So let's take a minute Ooh. to explain that before we jump into uh, flame wars. Yeah, I mean, basically, we're saying that you can only have one of those on your team, right? Uh, gay or trans injured or any of that LGBT mm -hmm. uh, category mm -hmm. on your team. One person, because period. One you can't person swap out other right, gay or transgender right. people. Because they yeah. felt like there was a, a gender. They said an unfair advantage. Unfair gender quote. advantage uh, with this, which is uh, bull basically. Yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, this is a video game. This is not an actual. Uh, I mean, it is a sport. Video games have transcended to become a sport. Yeah, they have. But this is not a leagues, but physical, one, yeah. a physical sport where, you know, there's actual physical contact. Uh, where, yeah, there might be a gender advantage in football, generally speaking. So maybe you shouldn't have, you know, giant 300 pound dudes. Sure. You know, it doesn't, that doesn't make sense. But within a video game realm, get rid of that rule. Yeah. So, I mean, is there anything else that we need to add to the explainer? I think that was pretty well summed up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, that's part. So, um, what is the what is the company though? What are they called? Garena? Garena, I think. Yeah. So um, in, in Garena, South, Garena. So, well, I think. This, all of this is incorrect. Uh, I'm gonna play a little bit of Devil's Advocate here because I uh, play League of Legends all the time and I watch LCS, which is a league championship series, which is the thing that's on every weekend on Twitch, <laughs> where it's professional League of Legends players who get paid thousands of dollars a year to play each other. It's a lot of money. They're the yeah, they're the best in the world. Um, there are zero, the there are zero females in the LCS. So I, I'm assuming the reason they're having a female only tournament in Southeast Asia, where this is the primary game right now, mm -hmm. is to put a spotlight on females who play this game. And oh my god, so, they could have done this any other way. Yeah. Any other way. <laughs> it should, yeah, just make it not a tournament. Um, just yeah. Anyways, uh, mm -hmm. perhaps there was an issue where people identifying as females, an entire team of males identifying as females, were wanting to participate in the tournament. Maybe. And that has no but, bearing on gay uh, and lesbian. Yeah, right, right. I don't understand the, the but, gay thing itself. I have no idea. But this this is the bad part because by saying either that either way it's an esport so I mean I just <laughs> by saying that gay lesbian cannot only one per team can't participate in a women's only thing is saying that they're less than female yeah which they're not <laughs> yeah <laughs> they have all the same parts now to be fair um, Riot has come out against this. What was their official tweet? What did they say? The official tweet from Riot Games is LGBT players are welcome at the official LOL tourneys. We're working with partners to ensure consistency with our values across all regions. And since that tweet has gone out, this company <clears throat> Garena in Southeast Asia has come back and revised their rulings, has revised their their policy for this, seeming to seemingly to allow uh, LGBT gamers back into this tournament. Um, to work more in line with what Riot Games is wanting, their, right. their kind of cultural philosophy. Um, so that's good. The, the reason why we're still having this conversation though is because now that gaming, video gaming is becoming a professional sport and there's so much money involved, this is gonna become more and more of an issue as we go on. These, these tournaments where, you know, maybe you can go to a tournament and it could be like professional sports where you have a men's it, it, league it, and a women's league? Exactly. Ignoring yeah. the LGBT part, you can only women can compete against women and only men can compete against men. And that it's is crap. crap as well. Yeah, especially in esports where it's, if, I mean yeah. if I mean what what's the benefit to that? Are they like just I, afraid that like I said, the men the are gonna beat thing, by the women? The because... only thing I would say I my only situation in my head I could think of is they want to put a highlight on women playing the game. But even then, like, is it that big? I don't know. They, they just shouldn't have tournaments. They encourage women to play with men then at that point. Yeah, yeah, just, you know, you don't need to have a separate tournament for them. You don't need to single them out. Just because having a women's only tournament to me is the opposite of highlighting or integrating. It's segregation. It's like yeah. having separate it's... water fountains. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, 
I hate using the word slippery slope, but I mean, you, you, we start going down this this route, it's just, you need to kind of cut it off the head at this point. Yeah, yeah. if you think that female game, gamers can't move their fingers as dexterously <laughs> as a male gamer, that's yeah. dumb. I mean, but the problem is, is systemic in gaming culture too. I mean, you see systemic. constant issues with sexism within the mm -hmm. video game industry, with, yeah, within definitely. gamers themselves, not even just within the development process. Yeah, I mean, so, you look at the new Metal Gear Solid, you've got the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that lady who can teleport yeah. wearing like nothing. But then again, you got sw snake sweet booty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> but I mean, so so I mean, these these are just you can't tell me you've never noticed snake's butt. Yeah, I mean, he's constantly crawling sweetie, around sweetie, too. Sweetie, so. sweetie, <laughs> sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Coming for that snake booty. Uh, uh, my wife's gonna be so proud of me. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're all proud of you, Garrick. Um. <laughs> Damn, that's sad. <laughs> oh, so. so yeah, I, I'm glad Riot came out. I'm glad they kind of put the the tournament host in their place, put them yeah. in check. Yeah, they, um, they actually, uh, Garena, Garena, Gay Arena, they came out and they said, uh, after discussing the ruling with our partners, we are re-examining our approach and we've decided that to remove these restrictions completely. Yes. Yeah. Which is good. Um, so it's good to see developers, developers and game publishers stepping out and, and, and doing good things with, Absolutely. with their power. So, uh, Hopefully we just don't see this anymore. Yeah, so, I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think there should be separate tournaments for male and female? Do you, I mean, are you are you glad they removed the restrictions? Let us know in the comments. Tell us how mad you were about it in the first place. Uh, as always, you can check us out on Facebook or our website, www.thesafestate.com. <laughs> we're on Facebook at Facebook.com forward slash the safe state, and we're on Twitter at the underscore safe state. Take it away, Landon! So, thanks for watching this video. We'll see you guys next time. See you on the rift. Huh? A little legally go. Huh? You like that? Yeah.